So this video is going to be on designing optical filters for optoelectronic devices using GPVDM. Um, so this example you can find in the new simulation window under optical filter. So we'll just select that and we'll save this to the desktop as, a, as, as example 2. And you can see this device um, is made up of multiple layers. So, it's, if, so if you look at it straight on, it's got about 10 to 11 layers. And the first layer is a layer of air, and then it alternates between high and low refractive index layers. So this is high, low, high, low, high, low. The high layers have a refractive index of about two, and the low layers have a refractive index of about one. And when you have a device like this, a sort of periodic structure, you can build up effectively very, very good mirrors and films that either let a certain band of light through or reflect a certain wavelength of light. And by adjusting the period, of, of these structures and the refractive index, you can tune what wavelengths are let through and what are reflected. So in this case, we've got the light coming in from the top and we've got a, um, a few layers. You can have many more layers if you want than this, um, but I've just put 10 in this example. So we're just going to run this uh, simulation and have a look at the results. So we're going to have a look at the output window and there's two files, there's a transmitted and reflected. So if we look at the transmitted light, so you can, you can see that it's letting through, so with a, effectively a transmission constant of about one, um, all light below about 500 nanometers. And above 500 nanometers, um, it's not letting that light through, it's reflecting it. And if you look at the reflected light, it's effectively going to the opposite of, of that uh, transmitted graph, and it lets everything through um, above about 500 nanometers, and, sorry, reflects everything above about 500 nanometers, and lets everything through um, below about 500. So if we go and look at the structural device in layer editor, we can see this is how I've set it up. So we've got um, refractive indexes of 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. What we can do now is we can, to try and sort of design our, um, our, our film and try and figure out what, what, uh, what's the optimum um, layer thickness for, for, our, for our, our purpose that we want to design our optical filter for, um, we can go to the parameter scan window. And what I've done is I've set it up here so that we're varying one of the, or the thickness of, of one, one of the layers. So here I've selected, so I'll expand it so you can see it. So epitaxy layer zero layer width, um, and we're going to change this. So that's, that's that layer there, that's that layer zero. We're going to change this from 100 to 120 to 150 nanometers, 170 then 200 nanometers. So we're going to increase that um, in, in, a few, in a few steps. And then what I've done for the other layers, so that's layer zero. Um, so the other layers of the high refractive index, so those are layer two, four, six, and eight. I put en entries into the scan window saying change layer two, four, six, and eight. And if we expand this operation box, it's going to copy the parameter that's being used um, for the layer zero. So this is going to be the same parameter that's going to be used here. So this will change corresponding to 100, so these all will then be 100, then 120, then 150, and then 170 and 200. So we're going to effectively change every single layer of refractive high index in, in the device um, in steps of, of 20 nanometers and see what this does to the reflection and um, transmission coefficients. So we're going to click Run here. They're just going to run these simulations. So that's done now. And we can look at this in the, in the plot window. So we click on Plot. And we see we've got um, four, five different simulation windows, each with the different thicknesses of that um, green layer with a refractive index of two. So we select one of those and we're going to find the file that says transmitted. In fact, here's the one that says reflected, so let's look at that one. So this reflected light for various um, types of structure here with different thicknesses of this green layer. So we see when we've got 100 nanometers, we have most light reflected above 500 nanometers. When the green layer is 120 nanometers, we have most light reflected above 550 nanometers. And then um, when it's 150 nanometers, we have most light reflected um, below about 460, 470 nanometers. So you can see using this sort of approach, you can design um, films, anti-reflective coatings and things to act as optical filters um, for your specific purpose. Um, so that's almost it, except for the last, the last sort of trick that's worth, worth, worth looking at. If we close this scan window and we go to the optical simulation window, um, th this is quite interesting because it actually shows us 
I've mispositioned the device. So zero, zero here is this top of the device here, and um, uh, about a thousand is, is down here. And this is where the, sort of the, the photons are in the device. This is where they're absorbed. So there's actually no absorption just because of the materials I chose. And this shows us the photon density within the device. Um, what we can do is we can go to the um, configure tab and select configure. And if I just move this out of the way, we can change where the light comes from. So rather than having a light come from this side of the film, we have a light come from the bottom of the film. So we can we can shine light from either side of, of our of our film. Um, so that's I'll just uh, put that back before I forget. Yes, that's really it. That's sort of simple design and optimization of. Um, multi-layer filmers for sort of either acting as mirrors or sort of tra transmissive or tra um, uh, layers on, on devices such as solar cells or OLEDs and things like that. So I hope you find that useful. Thanks very much.